Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Silver and my Mono Poison Run. It's time to take care of Whitney and her gym here. She'll probably prove to be a bit more of a nuisance than I really wanted to. So my Poison Team really isn't that strong and Miltank is a beast to deal with. I guess that's why they invented stat boosters though. I can compensate. Yeah. Put it on snooze. Then we can power up with growth. We're gonna grow the crap out of this bell sprout. It's gonna be so grown, it's gonna look like a weed. And not the good kind either. I wouldn't know, I don't do drugs, but some days I do this stuff and I'm just deadbeat tired, man. Let's see. Fine whip. No point in putting it back to sleep. Yeah. I'll teach you to fear sleep. I'll make you so afraid that you'll never be able to sleep again. If only I had a better grass move, man. Like, Razor Leaf would be good. I partially wish I could forget Flash, too, to be honest. This is a very double-edged sword for me now, because I can't normally get rid of it. It's like it's like the move deleter. So I'm stuck with a move I don't have any real use for. I mean, I can use it to blind my opponents, but outside of a few battles, that's usually not a very practical strategy, unless you're, like, mud-slapping them as well. But we'll see how far we can get with it, I suppose. It might come in handy for a few other fights. I suppose it'd work out alright if I was using also poison powder and sleep powder. Dang, you can't poison and put an enemy to sleep at the same time. Whatever. I was gonna use a grass attack, so it doesn't matter if you lower my physical attack at all. Know your opponent's Meowth. I suppose I should be clinging to the beauty Samantha here. Her tactics are sloppy. Her understanding of her opponent's weak. Utilizing moves that have absolutely no effect on me whatsoever. Just can't believe some of these people even are gym trainers. They got no talent. Ow. On the plus side, I get 32 um, extra Poké Dollars, though. Assuming I win. Oh yeah, bring on the Meowth. Come on. I got your number, Meowth. It's called Vine Wit. I hope it leaves an imprint on your face. Unfortunately, I don't have any room for this. Because honestly, sleep power is much better if you're going to be using growth as a tactic. So it gives you a chance to power up your move. Poison powder would work out alright, though, if you're using um, flash and double team, I suppose. Poison enemy, then use like a high, uh, use a move like growth on there, just to be able to burn moves, you know? As your opponent slowly bleeds to death from poison. Well, doesn't bleed to death. Festers or whatever from it. Until they finally pass out. So you can make use of Flash. But not a Pokemon geared for attacking, really. Not that Bellsprout's probably the best um, attacker out there, but I'll take what I can get. It's not like I'm running around with the most ideal of teams right now. And several members like the Beedrill are going to have to get dropped here pretty soon. Because i got nothing I can really do with Beedrill at this point. It's pretty much outlived its usefulness. I'm going to have to replace it with like, Tentacruel as soon as I can. Or Quillfish. Anything, really. Oh, you want to snubble, huh? Trying to snub me? 
Well, it ain't gonna work. Because I have sleep powder. And I ain't afraid to use it. Seriously? Go back to sleep. Can't believe it woke up that fast. I mean, it happens, but I haven't had such luck with it. Ugh. I keep hitting it successfully with sleep powder, but I can't get it to stay asleep for long. Well, come on, one more. I'm not even sure I need another one. It's just insurance. So let's face it, if it wakes up, it could be a real pain. And I did need it, because I'm going to have to hit it twice. But I suppose that wouldn't be any different if I stopped at four, huh? Possibly even three. Oh well. Well, my bell's probably ain't that strong. I mean, it's only level 17. Hmm. Cute versus strong, I don't know. I mean, on one level hand, I'm using a poison team, so I don't know if there's going to be any real um, cute Pokemon I can really bring onto the battlefield here. It's not like my normal run where I can pick up some like Jigglypuff or something to be cute. Crap. Oh, try the same tactic. Who will get first? Whoever gets first sleep is probably going to get the win. Possibly. Ah, defense curling. Meaningless. Why does everyone keep using moves that lower regular attack or lower or up physical defense against my bell sprout? I mean, its main attacks are whipping people and using powders on them. And if you're dumb like me, giving it flash, and then not replacing it with a much better bell sprout that doesn't bog down with that, because then I can give it something else like acid or something. When it learns it. Instead, I'm going to be stuck with a poison Pokemon that's not going to probably know any poison moves the entire run. Oh, well, I'll make do. Okay, last Jigglypuff. Too late. I guess they don't have very high special defense. No, I'm gonna head back out. I can use another heal. I want to go into the fight with um, Bellsprout, you know, weakened. Because this is my lead Pokemon. And I can't really count on any of the others to help me through with Miltank, really. They ain't got the levels for it. And I'm gonna have to buy a lot of time to drop, like, power boosts on myself. So having full health at the start will help, because I'm going to have to land sleep at least two or three times, probably, if not more, to get all the stat buffs on myself. Because I'm going to have to up my physical defense if I want to use that thing up against, um, Miltank. Because it's faster than me, I'm sure. Plants aren't very quick, what can I say? And taking a hit from Miltank is like getting hit by a truck, usually. It hits unbelievably hard, and if you miss, or whatever, you've got no real counters. So yeah, I'm gonna have to set myself up for fighting Militank before I can take out Clefairy. I'm gonna have to hope I can basically um, keep it from using any good metronome moves on I me, mean, like Blizzard. Hits me with that, it's probably gonna be all over, even if I have full health. So I guess I can hope this fight goes mostly in my favor, right? So as I can flash it. That way, even if it uses a power move on me, I can probably dodge it. 
Yeah, we're gonna play as carefully as we can here. Oh, you're gonna start flashing me back? Gosh darn it. Ugh. Yep, this fight's going alright so far. I mean, I haven't been damaged yet, so I still have full health. It's been hit with a couple flashes, so it's probably gonna touch me very easily. Very good things, you know? But, it could turn the battle around. I don't doubt the ability of, of Whitney to be annoying. I'm still gonna have to use X defense. Like I said, I gotta prepare for Mill Tank. At least my sleep powder has been pretty successful so far. Um, here it is. Down here. I'm gonna apply all of them. Basically an attempt to make myself pretty much unkillable by Mill Tank. At least that's the plan. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna try and carry the day with my Pell Sprout. Teach you some respect for the Bell, you know? Bell is not to be messed with. Vital throw? Oh, wow. That wasn't very effective. Here, let me put you back to sleep. Oh, I missed. Aww. I was about to say, if it keeps going on much longer, I'd be better off just hitting it with Vine Whip. I guess I can go into the fight with only 41 hit points. <sighs> if only I'd save that critical for Mill Tank. I'm still going to try and sleep powder it. There, now I can't finish its rollout. I missed. You know what, whatever, just fine whip it. If it stays asleep, I can probably drop it with just fine whip at this point. Like I said, don't matter, just fine whip it. And she can't stop doing rollout, so she's gonna have to hit me with it again. And now I can win with Vine Whip. And all is good in the world. Hmm. Yeah. You don't need anything besides Sleep Powder. It's the ultimate move. Oh, come on. Why shouldn't I be serious? This is a gym battle. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, come on. She cries all the time when she loses. She's the one that takes this too seriously. She's just gonna cry over a single loss. <sighs> I'm sure my rival had to beat her on his way through here, too. I don't even have strength yet, but whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, tracked. Hmm. Not too worried about it. Suppose it is. Well, that's the end of this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.